The following video is about how to use the Lucid OSP oscilloscope to check the voltage and current waveforms of the surge generator. This is the appearance of the oscilloscope. Here are the accessories. If we use it to test the waveforms of the surge generator, we only need to use the coaxial cable of the surge generator. We check the voltage waveform first. Surge generator settings, surge voltage, positive 1 kV, coupling direction, L to N, interval, a short interval such as 5 seconds, surge number can be set more, so that we can view each waveform conveniently. Then use the coaxial cable to connect the surge generator CROV port to the oscilloscope. Turn on the oscilloscope. Press the menu key under trigger button. Select the corresponding channel for the signal source. Select normal for trigger mode. Click to the next page. Choose rising for slow. Press the CH1 button. Set the probe multiple to 1x. Turn off the current measurement function. The student search generator has a built-in 1 to 1000 high voltage probe at the oscilloscope interface. Set the surge voltage to positive 1 kV, then the actual voltage to the oscilloscope is positive 1 V. Rotate this knob. Set the vertical axis of the oscilloscope to 200 mV per division so that we can view the complete waveform. Rotate this knob. Set the horizontal axis time to 10 microsecond per division. Adjust the left and right, up and down position knobs to adjust the waveform display position to a suitable position. Rotate the trigger button. Adjust the trigger level to the approximately middle position. Directly click start on the touch screen of the search generator. Then click go on without power. The oscilloscope will receive waveform data after each surge. Without modifying any settings, use the two vertical cursors to view the time to half value. Set the horizontal axis to 1 microsecond per division and wait for the next surge. Set the two vertical cursors from 30% to 90% of the surge voltage to view the front time. Then we check the current waveform. The setting of surge generator is the same as when viewing the voltage waveform. Short circuit the surge output terminal L and N. Use the coaxial cable to connect the CROI port to the oscilloscope. The internal resistance of the surge generator is 2 ohms. So set the vertical axis of the oscilloscope to 100 mV. Set the horizontal axis to 5 microsecond. Other parameter settings are the same as when viewing the voltage waveform.